not easy. It is not easy. I am T Street Controversy. I call this show T Street Controversy Live. And guess what I do? I cover boxing. Number one on YouTube, me. That's who. Billy Joe Saunders, 20 and 0. European 160 pound champion. 11 KOs. Billy Joe Saunders. Chris Eubank Jr., son of the Hall of Fame. Chris Eubank Sr., 17 and 0 with 12 KOs. He's unproven. Both are unproven, but I'm talking about on their domestic level. Now, the highlight of my day on November the 29th, 2014 is going to be Derek Chisora versus, no, excuse, excuse me, Tyson Fury versus Derek Chisora too, and Billy Joe Saunders versus Chris Eubank Jr., but I'm an American, remember, and over here, they don't give a shit about that fight, which is why I'm an advocate for some way for, for Box Nation, Sky Sports, I don't care who. To sell some right to some fights to somebody over here. I know it's gonna be it's gonna be a difficult startup and some money may be lost, but it would benefit the fighters so much if if we had it if we had access to see these fights. For example, people say shit like to me, like, well, why don't you go buy a box nation? You dumb fuck, I'm I'm an American. The currency and all that stuff, and I don't like no Bitcoin. I'm not no way. Anyway. Long story short, moving on. Chris Eubank Jr. is unproven. And you're going to say Billy Joe Saunders is unproven. Billy Joe Saunders has 11 knockouts, 20 wins, 20 fights. All of them wins. 12 rounders. Billy, uh, Chris Eubank Jr., if I'm correct, what was it, the fourth round or the fifth round? He's never been, he's never been to the fifth round, if I'm correct. Also, he fights in burst. So, with his style of his stalking, his prey, and all this... all that jibber jabber how does that hold up in round six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve that's the questions I, have, I ask myself but then you also look at Billy Joe Saunders who has known on his domestic level issues with endurance and stamina I got to shave the hair in my nose my God, it's my nose. <laughs> anyway sorry guys I'm being rude I want to dig up there <laughs> I'm do it on but yo but listen I look at it like this. I like both fighters. Who is more marketable? Chris Eubank Jr., of course. You know, this is going to be funny. I actually, I, I honest, I swear I had a dream. I saw, like, no, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. I'm not, no, I'm not no freak or anything. But listen, I had a dream. Like, I see Chris Eubank Jr. getting out the shower. And he look, he, he, he get in the mirror, look in the mirror. And he looking at himself like, But as negative, you see his pop just slide over like, you're going to hold out as long as you can. They're going to want the fight. And then he, he's sitting there looking at him like, like he's a specimen. I don't know, yeah, I don't know. The two freak me out, yeah, the two freak me out. But you would have to watch their fights to understand what I'm talking about. You know, you'll have times, and I know, see the people over in the UK who watch these videos. I'm talking to the Americans because Americans, we like foolishness like that. <laughs> we like foolishness like that. So when I see a fighter sitting on the stool and he's sitting there and then the pop come over and the pop just looking at him, you'll have, you'll have Chris Eubank Sr. come over like, like in awe, like, my God, and then looking at his son. Like, what is this animal? But, you know, how does that one fight? This is a very big fight. The winner is said to go on and maybe face Matt Van Korobal, Andy Lee winner, for the 160 pound WBO title that was relinquished by Peter Kidd, Chocolate Quillen. That's my dog snore. He always snores when I do my videos. At least somebody's getting some sleep around here. But I, I don't believe that if, if I was to pick one fighter who I would think that would be ready to be a world champion right now, maybe, is Billy Joe. He's the better boxer, the better, the, the better fighter, but yet we see this dominant force in Eubank Jr. <clears throat> but if you've seen things about Eubank Jr., and I forgot what fight it was, even though he beat the dog shit out of everybody he's faced, 
if you see, like when he's doing all that stuff, he be getting hit. You know, so he's defensively flawed, and I'm thinking like, okay, well, what if you're not going to be doing what? Which is your true fighting style? What is your true fighting style? You're not going to be getting in there with no glove getting, and even you're not going to be getting in there doing all this, you know? Like I want to know, like, what does he do? I guess he's a pressure fighter, power puncher. I know he's got an uppercut from hell, but I guess that's why we have fights like this. So on October the 25th, he's going to be fighting against someone we don't know who. And it's crazy because before the biggest fight of his career, he's taking another fight just like 34 days or 33 days before. So he's going to be fighting somebody on October the 25th and then fighting um, Billy Joe Saunders on November the 29th. And I'm going to be covering it live. I'm T Street Controversy with Real Combat Media. This is T Street Controversy Live. I do all my videos live, unedited, and uncut. And what we're going to be doing here now that I have a nice team with me, we're going to be providing 24 hour boxing news, headlines, whatever. And that's why you build a global fan base. You'll just have to find out what I mean later. T Street Controversy, T Street Controversy Live.